Hello YouTubers, this is Eric from Easy Computer Solution, and today we're going to do a benchmark test and comparison between the Galaxy Note 4 and my Sony Z Ultra. Hello guys, this is Eric again with another video, and today we're going to do some benchmarking. If you all if you watch my previous videos you always notice that I always do my comparison and benchmarking to my Sony Z Ultra because this here is my go-to device uh, this device been out for a while but Sony has always kept this device up to date is running lollipop 5.1.1 and the uh, the note 4 is also running 5.1.1 so let's do some benchmarking Today, I got both screens up on full brightness, uh, the Note 4 and the um, Sony Z Ultra, both of them on full blast. So the first benchmark we're going to do is on 2.2. And if you notice that the Sony Z Ultra has a really good screen, but it's very dim. Uh, the brightness level is not that high on it. So we're going to go ahead on and do a test here. And, and compare the benchmarks between the Snapdragon 800 and the Snapdragon 805. All right. And if you notice that the uh, Sony Z Ultra have 1920 by 1080 pixel resolution and the Note 4 has 2560 by 1440. One of my videos when I showed the N22 benchmark, uh, my Sony Z Ultra crashed. So let's see if it's gonna do it again. And as this run, let's look at some comparison. The Note 4 is a 5.7 inch screen and the uh, Sony Z Ultra is a 6.44 inch screen. And I tell you what, if you look at that, that's complete gorgeous. It's, I mean, this is a nice screen. Uh, again, this is my go-to device. If I need a tablet, tablet, anything, I use my Sony Z Ultra. Not my daily driver, but uh, my Note 4 here, and you see it's 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 running smooth. The Super AMOLED screen is gorgeous. All right, here we go. All right, so the results are in. Let's look at that. All right, so my Sony Z Ultra had a score of 41161, 41161, and the Note 4 is 49881. So in comparison, the 805 is great, about 8,000 8, points above the Snapdragon 800 in comparison. All right, so let's do the next test. Let's get out of here. And we're going to go on and clean around. Close all apps. All right, we're going to do Geekbench 3. All right, so again, Sony Z Ultra running uh, 5.0.2 Lollipop, Snapdragon 800. Uh, the clock speed is 2.1. 5 gigahertz with the uh, Adreno 330 GPU and 2 gigs of RAM and the Samsung Note 4 is running 5.1.1 with uh, the Qualcomm Snapdragon 805 clocked at 2.65 gigahertz and got the Adreno 420 with 3 gigs of RAM. Alright, so let's go down and run this benchmark. And as we run to these benchmarks, let's go on and do a temperature test. Let's see. The Note 4 is not hot. The Sony Z Ultra is not hot. 
So I don't see no throttling right now with both devices. Uh, right now they should be running at their peak. I don't, I don't think it, they, they'll be doing any throttling right now. All right, the Geekbench score for the Note 4 is it single core is 1107, multi core is 3477, and the Snapdragon 800 on the Sony Z Ultra is 917 single core and 2779 multi core. All right, so let's close this out. Again, let's go down and clear the round. Close apps. All right. So we're going to go ahead on and do quadrant. We're going to run the full benchmark. In comparison, if you notice that the screens, that the Sony Z Ultra, Pa, I'll tell you what, if the Sony Z Ultra had a brighter screen, this would be an awesome, awesome device in the sunlight, but outside viewing angles are terrible. Uh, you really can't see this device in bright sunlight uh, because it's just not bright enough. And I always keep this device on full brightness, and you can tell comparing it to the Note 4, the whites, it's a cooler white compared to the amulet. The amulet is a nice white and it's great. All right, we are done. Both devices are done. If you have a Sony Z Ultra, you don't have no problem. I tell you what, Sony is keeping this device up to date. Okay, Sony Z Ultra 23997. 23, get that in the camera. 23997. And the Note 4 is 28788. 28788. So it's 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 a little higher than the Sony Z Ultra. Again, we look looking at two different generation processors here. Snapdragon 800, Snapdragon 805. And we are going to close all apps. And we're gonna run and let's go and do a temperature test. You know what, I tell you what, the Note 4 is cool to the touch. The Note 4 definitely is not hot. At this point, I shouldn't see any throttling. No throttling right now. So let's get out of that. And we're gonna do 3D Mark. Let's go on and run it. One, two, three. All right. So we're going to run 3D Mark, and in my previous video, my Sony Z Ultra crashed while running this benchmark. So right now, both phones are cool. They should not throttle. They should run at their full potential. So let's look at the Note 4 and the Sony Z Ultra. Run this benchmark. Hmm. Look like the Note 4 is struggling a little bit at about six frames per second the sony z ultra is running about six frames per second you get that in the camera and let's get that in the camera there running about four frames per second let's let them run Both devices is running really, really choppy. This is a high-end benchmark, and both devices right now is running about four frames per second. The um, Sony Z Ultra is running about 4.5 frames per second, and the Note 4 is running six frames per second. Both devices right now is really struggling with this benchmark. The Note 4 has gotten down to about three frames per second. Sony Z Ultra is about 
three frames per second. And again, the other benchmark his test is working now. And the Note 4 is running at about three frames per second. Let's check the temperature. God, yeah, the Note 4 is, is a little warm, guys. So I would definitely think that we're seeing some throttling right now with the Note 4. And the Sony Z Ultra, yes, it's warm also. So I would expect that we got a lot of throttling going on right now at about three frames per second on the Sony Z Ultra. All right, so now we got another benchmark going on here. We get about 16, 14, 15 frames per second. Let's put that in the view there. And again, if you look at the comparison of screens, uh, the Sony Z Ultra has a great screen, but unfortunately, it's just not bright enough. The IPS display um, is great, but the, 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 the viewing angles is good. Uh, but unfortunately, due to it not being so bright, we got a lot of problems with it. Okay, 3D marking, look at the viewing angles on the Note 4, it's also good. All right, so we got a score here of $11.99 for the Note 4. Again, $11.99 for the Note 4. And we are waiting for the Sony Z Ultra. And we have $11.36, guys. So again, the Sony Z Ultra is a beast of a phone. It's, I mean, definitely staying caught up to the Note 4 with an updated processor. So if you have an older phone with a Snapdragon 800 in it, you're fine. You're fine, definitely fine. Look at the graphs here a little bit. If you notice that the Sony Z Ultra kind of flatlined a little bit on some intense tests and the uh, Note 4, you can see some throttling going on down there, here, and definitely we have some issues there. We was at two, uh, two point some gigahertz there, and it dropped off. And some of the earlier tests, it definitely dropped off. But look at the Sony Z Ultra; it held its own, guys. It it peaked about 1.6 gigahertz. And it went all the way up past uh, two gigahertz. So definitely throttle. And if you look at the Sony Z Ultra, it peaked. I tell you what, it it tried to hold its own. It throttled a little bit, uh, and it throttled. But I tell you, if you look at this chart compared to this chart, the Snapdragon 800 held its own in this benchmark test. All right, so let's look at some of the scores here. Uh, the Graphic One, we got six frames per second, 6.7 frames per second on the Graphics Test One. And we had also had 6.7 frames per second on the Graphics Test One on the Note 4. Uh, the Test Two, we got 3.6 frames per second. And the Note 4 had 4.1 frames per second. And the uh, physical section one, the Sony Z Ultra had 29.5 frames per second versus the 33.1 frames per second on the Note 4. And the physical test two, section two, the Sony Z Ultra had 15.2 and the Note 4 had 14 frames per second. And the phys physical section three, uh, the Sony Z Ultra had seven and uh, the Note 4 has 6.5. Again, that probably is due to some throttling. Uh, we, uh, after looking at the graph, I believe that the Note 4 was doing a lot of throttling. So for day-to-day -day use, both of the phones are great. Get out of here. Again, guys, thank you very much. This is my comparison between the Note 4 with the Snapdragon 805 processor in it 
with my, I guess my big daddy, my Darth Vader, that my Sony Z Ultra here with the Snapdragon 800 quad-core processor. Thank y'all very much. This is Eric from Easy Computer Solutions. If you have any questions, please leave your comments down below. Like my video, subscribe to my channel. See you on the next one. Peace.